Many blue crabs harvested from North Carolina waters are shipped in baskets, also known as bushels, to northern markets, where they are often steamed whole and served at a premium price. Willie Phillips has been crabbing North Carolina waters for many years and sends many baskets of the beautiful blue crab to northern markets. Let's learn more about Willie's business and his history. When we moved up to Tyrrell County, it was to chase hard crabs, and that's why we moved here was the resource. We came with 187 crab pots and a boat we built ourselves and some soft crab equipment and uh, started crabbing Albemarle Sound and Alligator River. And that was 20 years ago. And uh, crab's been very good to us. We've, we've uh, had a long, satisfying relationship with a, a very uh, testy critter. But um, these days, crabbing's altogether different. Um, whereas before, you could build your own boat and with a few pots make a living. Uh, or scratch out a living. It was not exactly what you'd call a living in today's world, but it was, it was a marginal living. Today, uh, most of the rigs are 25 feet and up. Um, that's the boat. Uh, they're usually inboard powered. Um, a lot of diesels. Um, two to three guys on a boat fishing anywhere from six to 900 pots. Uh, a lot of people will have double stands, which means 1,200 to 1,500 pots in the water at any one time. The overhead on an operation like that is uh, fifty to hundred thousand dollars. When it comes to a blue crab, as far as the size goes, um, the ones that go in here are the star crabs, or what we call jumbo crabs, and it is the best product coming out of North Carolina. Um, they're highly highly sought after up in the northern markets, retail markets. They sell for five dollars a piece. The the size down from that is is the um, regular jimmy crab, a number one jimmy crab. That's a six inch crab, although we've uh, lowered that standard somewhat because of the scarcity of crabs. And it's down to about five and three quarters. They have to be hard crabs. That means they're fat, as they're called in the business. They're full of meat. First test is the belly. You can see there's a little give there. So this crab would automatically be rejected for the basket market. The second test is the back. If the back gives right there, also means that the shell's not as hard as it should be from the time that it's last shed. And the third test, and the ultimate test, is the wing. When you go underneath the wing like that and press and it gives, you know that the crab's not filled out correctly for the consumer up north. Okay, what Mac's doing right here is he's just weighed up the crab on our scales determine there's 40 pounds of crabs to the bushel. He takes the topper off, which is the stainless steel rim around the top, which keeps the crabs in there long enough to put a top on it. He flips the topper off and drops a lid on them. He marks the lid number one, which is what those crabs are, and they're stored over here. At the end of the culling session, the crabs are um, documented so that we can pay the crabber we suck all of the heat out of them so that they have um, less chance of killing each other by uh, biting inside the um, bushel basket. Once they're down to temperature, they go inside the cooler, which is maintained at 50 degrees, and they stay that way until they arrive theoretically at the other end of their market. If they're dealt with in this way, the crab's got a three to four day life inside that bushel basket. And that dead loss is a big, big issue for people up north that are paying high bucks for these crabs. If they lose 25% of the crabs on the way up, instead of a $60 bushel, they're paying $90, theoretically for less product. So it's very important that the crabs are handled correctly and every basket has to weigh the same thing. All the crabs are put in the basket right side up and the dipping process is very critical to their longevity. So the crabs that go in the baskets are by far the, the, the largest profit for the crabber. The rest of them that go off the end of the table are the coal crabs, which are uh, picking crabs. They go off to a picking house where people produce uh, between three and five different grades of meat and the, um, that's then marketed fresh in most instances. Um, through the same channels of retailers and restaurants.